Hey everyone, so today I'm not going to showcase AI Interpolator, I'm not going to showcase Search API AI that I've been working heavily on the uh, last week. I'm going to showcase an old video where I'm using GPT-4 Vision Preview to uh, generate components, so whole paragraphs end-to-end -end with fields, with design, with HTML, with JavaScript, with CSS uh, from a sing single image could also be a Figma file, it could be a component, this will also be showcased. Uh, it could be a prompt, right? Uh, and the reason I'm going to showcase this now is because there's been a lot of discussions uh, lately because of the great, great Starshot initiative, which is a super great thing. I think uh, Drupal really needs to leverage the long tail, so not just, you know, the enterprise companies that has a lot of money for developers but anyone that wants to leverage Drupal for low code or no code uh, and one of the main components there is something called the experience builder which is a really good uh, idea where you, basically you can use the browser to create you know your design uh, your CSS your components and so on so this is what my prototype then is doing and this is a very old prototype so this is one of the reasons i'm giving this introduction this is something to keep in mind that this prototype is using gpt4 vision preview at the same week as it was released since then it has been seven months and seven months in uh, ai lifetime that's uh, that's like a whole lifetime in other tech it has happened and uh, evolved so much since in terms of what the vision models can do. So Anthropic has released Claude 3 that was levels above vision preview. Uh, GPT-4 O has been released. That's also uh, levels above, above uh, vision preview. So keep that in mind when you see this because the prototype I did, it doesn't have the perfect prompt. It's using vision 4 preview. So it could, uh, I would say on complex components, it could maybe finish 50% of the the end-to-end -end product on easier components like text and uh, image components you know left image right text 100% no problem did everything but just keep this in mind and also keep in mind that I'm talking about paragraphs because at that time like uh, mercury editorial layout paragraphs was the cool stuff so I was playing around with that um, still very very cool stuff uh, that one could build everything around as well um, and I just wanted to say this because I haven't followed uh, all the discussions on the experience builder it might be that this has already been thought through then just you know discard this video but if it hasn't or if this perspective is missed I just wanted to you know throw, uh, throw how do you say throw my ship in or you know showcase what is actually possible here uh, so you un understand that okay this should probably be a part of the experience builder or at least the experience builder at least build such an extensive plugin system that someone can externally plug in this uh, because I will I'm almost certain for even advanced components now it can do 70 80 percent and by the time I'm guessing experience builder is released which I guess takes months, maybe a year, I don't know. Uh, the AI models might be perfect at this, where they can basically do all the CSS uh, for you. It can understand which field types to choose and everything perfectly, right? Which my prototype was then sometimes failing at. Uh, and when that happens, you know, you're gonna have to compete with other commercial solutions that does this i know wix.com for instance have already started looking into this right uh and this i think drupal has to have so that's why i'm just giving my perspective here um of and showcasing basically what's possible and, and keep in mind this was like a two three day prototype i did i spent some days on it but that's all um the code is available uh I can link to it in this video uh, and also I started working then at a company called Freely Give who has been very very nice uh, nice enough to let me do a lot of open source during work time 
um, so there might be that I have availability to help out with this if help is wanted as well so yeah that's it keep in mind this when you look at the video the first uh, video is gonna showcase a uh, image of a component there I'm talking this is on the third day of my development uh, then I'm just gonna show you so you see that you can doodle this was done the first day so it's uh, probably not as impressive in the results the prompt was a lot better after this but it's at least so you can see the doodle component as well uh, they are not the funniest videos to look at but if you're interested in this please look at them so before I showcase those videos just two mentions so I started at a company called freely give and we are experts at Drupal we are experts at AI and especially the combination of those two things so if you want to hire me or my team at the freely give then please just contact us uh, there is contact information in the show notes and uh, the other thing I want to mention is this site that is workflows of AI where I usually showcase things around the AI interpolator I'm gonna start showcase more things about AI in general in the future so just go to this site workflows-of-ai.com hi there uh, Marcus here. I'm just gonna showcase some something I've been working on actually for some time uh, On my free time. I didn't take it too serious um, but lately I've been uh, Putting a lot of time into it because it became interesting because of AI The initial idea was just a component library that you could basically, you know, create a component on one website and then reuse on another website via component server uh, but because of AI uh, I realized it is possible to not just you know reuse components over sites that someone has manually created but you can actually automate automate a lot of the uh, creation phase and maybe get you know the first 50 60 percent of a component up and running both back and front end uh, and this is what I'm gonna showcase so I'm gonna showcase one of the AI ways that you can generate uh, a component in this way so that's going to be from my image uh, so I'm just going to show you here I have a test component image you see it's a completely normal hero section two action buttons one is outlined one is fill out uh, one thing I will say also this is based on bootstrap so that's the way there can be some context on to how AI is supposed to generate this uh, so that is actually a hard requirement for these components that you run the Bootstrap 5 theme or a sub-theme to the Bootstrap 5 uh, theme. In this case I'm going to show it via a layout paragraphs plus paragraphs but this can also generate blocks. You can use Layout Builder um, or basically anything else that takes entities and then later on I haven't done this yet but of course if you have a full screen image of how a node is supposed to look it's supposed to be able to do this as well and it's also supposed to be able to take uh, data structures that do exist on the system uh, and generate them uh, generate the design for them currently it generates everything from scratch so you can see here there is no paragraph type at all right now and now we're gonna create this hero component then so I just go to uh, theme components, add it. Uh, I will say also I have added a repo for this, by the way, but this is this is very much in dev state. So, I mean, if there's someone who wants to co-maintain with me, please contact me and thinks this is interesting because there's a lot of work to do here, of course. Um, but please do not download it and start using it and then create a lot of tickets because it's not it's not even in alpha stage yet um this is another way you could actually do doodle a component you know start doodling around here but what i'm gonna show here then is from image so we're gonna create a hero component and i'm just gonna take this image that i showed you upload it and i say that it should generate some css so it is partially done in this case um but uh, it can't, for instance, recognize font 
uh, styles at the moment. So this is something I want to add later so it actually can recognize Google fonts um, and some other things that will be added on top of it. Um, but what exists now just as a example is that you know you if, if you for instance say that the title should have animation to it you can just right click on it and we say it should flip right you can test it as many times as you want then maybe we want to change the CSS on it because we thought it became wrong so we take the color 007700 for instance and you see it becomes green right um, I don't know why the save button will actually be gone because it is already saved it is already created so if we go back to paragraph types now you're gonna see there is a hero component here and it has generated the fields for it so there is a description image primary button secondary button uh, and the title there is also uh, it sets up the form display it sets up the display and currently uh, it's generating uh, this everything with wrapper so this is actually taking care of all the styling and you can see it actually adds bootstrap uh, classes here this will of course later generate uh, or it can actually already but it's kind of buggy generate uh, twig and css and sus uh, later single directory component and single file components uh, so you can actually get the code back as well. So you can get a Twig file where you as a front-ender start, you know, fixing the details because it's not perfect as you can see. Um, and then I will just, to showcase it, I'm, I have a test content type here called layout tests. I'm just going to connect this component here now or paragraph. And then I'm going to create a layout test, uh, my page. Uh, and this is layout paragraphs. That's why you can preview it so nicely. So it, because there is only the hero component, I didn't have to choose something now. It just takes the hero component, right? So we do take this turn data collection into an experience. Engage your audience. Uh, and you can also see, of course, this became a, a HTML field. It kind of figured out that this probably should be a text area field that can take HTML. Figure out that this should be a text field. Uh, it figured out that the buttons are actual links. So here I can now link to, say, google.com, uh, try for free, and then we yeah, we just link the second to Google as well. Doesn't matter. It's just for showcasing. See examples. I will just upload an image here. So what it also does uh, is that it creates. Um, I will show that in a moment. It creates image styles, and it also, if you have uh, the focal point uh, mo uh, module, the one that can crop uh, uh, based on focal point. It uses this in the image styles as well. So we can focus on the girl here instead of the boy, for instance. Uh, girl and boy. Just save this. And all of a sudden, I have this. Now the animation does not work in this mode. So I'm going to have to click save here. And you see the animation. I can reload so you can see that the animation works there. And you see it's the green color as well. Um, so, so the thing that animation doesn't work, that's another bug that I'm working on. So there's a lot of bugs and there's a lot of feature I want to add to this, but I, um, I just wanted basically to showcase what is possible and what I am working on. If someone is working on the same idea, so we're not, you know, doing double work. Uh, yeah, that is it. So thank you for watching.